I'm Sophia Bernardi, mindset and business coach supporting ambitious new and rising coaches plus service-based businesses to master their mindset, create an aligned and profitable strategy and grow a six-figure business using the rising coach method. I built a multi six-figure business by the age of 24 and in this podcast, I will teach you the psychology, strategy and energetics to do the same. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to another episode of Rising Coaches with Sophia Bernardi. Wherever you are in the world right now, I am so grateful that you have taken time out of your day to listen or watch this episode. So hello, welcome, whether you are new or a returning subscriber, I'm very, very grateful. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the five key attributes behind every five-figure launch that I have had. And this was such a fun reflection for me to do to see what were all the common denominators between every launch that I have done that has generated well and truly over five figures. And the thing that made me the most excited and grateful is that all of those launches I had the time of my life in I had so much fun I was feeling on top of the world super confident super happy and energized and I think that's the coolest thing because you quite often hear of people going through burnout or not being able to follow through on their launch right and I'm just so grateful that all of the successful ones I've had it's it's where I felt really really good and I think that that's just nice to share that first and foremost that launches can be energizing they can be you know worth your time and energy and so much fun and that's what we want them to be like yes it requires energy and it requires time and effort just like anything amazing in life like I was actually um, reflecting on this the other day that I really believe that like all good things like require work. If they don't require any work and it's really, really easy, it's almost not seen as valuable. And I think one of the best examples of this is through your health. Like if it were really, really easy to get a six pack, I don't think everyone would value it as much because people don't know the amount of like effort and energy that goes into creating that. Like you have to be really disciplined and consistent and really look after yourself. And that's not always the easier option, right? I'm sure the easier option would be to just like eat whatever you want, whenever you want and, you know, have all of the sugar and the cake and the donuts and all of those things. And so we really value and respect people that have worked really hard to create, you know, um, certain results. And so I think it's just important to note that, that like, no, things don't need to be excruciatingly hard. Like it can be abundant and easeful, but yes, it's going to require work. And that's so okay. Because if we want to create something amazing, then we should want to put the effort into that because of the return on investment. Right. And, you know, if it were really that simple to create the life that you deserve and desire, like everyone would have it. But the reality is, is that it's actually the minority that have it. And so just like recognizing that, that like, if you want something that most people don't have, then you have to be willing to do things that like most people aren't willing or able to do. Right. And so I just really wanted to start by saying that because there's a lot of misconceptions around launches being unsustainable and like hard and this and that and like causes burnout and like it just doesn't need to be that way when you have the right process that aligns with you and your goals um, and who you are as a person. So I think that's really important. And just before we get into this episode, if you're not sure what a launch is, I'm essentially meaning a, a small window of time in your business where you are hyper people up your audience up about something that is coming um, and then you are debuting your product or your offer um, and there's a window of time in which people can purchase that and so you want to create a lot of hype and energy um, to get people really excited about purchasing either an existing or a new product or service right that's really what a launch is and I am running a launch 
every single month in my business. And that's how I'm able to continue to grow my reoccurring revenue, right? Um, because I'm always launching. Um, but because it's sustainable and it's fun and I have a formula I follow, um, it's really sustainable to do so. And that's how I've really scaled my business to over half a million dollars in under three years. Now, before I get on to the five key attributes behind every five figure launch that I've had, I want to let you know that next week I am running a three day challenge for you to learn how to run a free challenge that blows up your coaching business to consistent 10K months. It's happening from the 28th to the 30th of March. It's completely free and the link is in the show notes or the description or my Instagram bio for you to check out and register. I would love to have you there. One of the key attributes that I'm going to be sharing today is actually running a challenge or an event yourself. Um, Every single five-figure launch I've had, it's because I've run a challenge or an event. And so if you're wanting to create a five-figure launch yourself, I would love for you to join my upcoming challenge, how to run a money-making challenge. Completely free, link in the show notes, go register now and then come back to this episode uh, because this episode's going to be amazing. But I did want to share that with you that it's next week. If you're watching this a little bit late or a week behind, don't worry, you can still register to get access to the replay, but definitely do it sooner rather than later. This is the biggest uh, launch we've ever had. I can't believe how many of you have already signed up. Um, We've got hundreds of you, so it's very, very exciting. And I would love to have more of you. So if you haven't yet registered, please do that. Um, And then check your junk spam or promotion folder just in case that confirmation email has slipped in in there, add me as a contact, and then you will get the reminders for the replays or to watch the challenge live. So over three days, I'm going to be sharing so much value with you on exactly how I run money-making challenges that bring in five-figure launches, aka 10K months and beyond, right? This is the strategy that I've used from literally day one in my business. It's the process that got me to sign my first clients. And now, you know, I've got well and truly over 80 clients all around the world. And I would love for you to be able to create Create this level of impact and freedom yourself in the most sustainable way. You know, I don't use Facebook ads currently. I'm I'm not like on every social media platform. I don't have this massive team. It's a really simple business model. Um, and that's because I really value my my time and my energy and I want to pour that time into being with the people I love the most and doing what I love the most. And um, I want it to be really scalable and sustainable for that reason. So yeah, let's dive in and register for that three-day challenge. And I'm just so excited to dive into this episode. So I'm going to be sharing with you five key attributes behind every five-figure launch that I've had. It was so much fun to reflect on this process. And definitely, without a doubt, the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to having five figure launches in a month is having rock solid confidence in yourself. It is so important to have that rock solid confidence in yourself. I've had to do a lot of work on myself to release past fears, doubts, traumas, limitations, and it's work that I continue to do. I believe it's a, um, a lifelong journey and you've got to be in for the long run and in for the ride. And I'm continuously peeling back layers and becoming more of my true authentic self and Um, you know, taking certain aspects of myself out of the shadow and into the light and owning them. Um, And it's a really rewarding feeling. And so definitely without a doubt, in order to create five figure launches and beyond, it starts with you and it starts with your confidence in yourself. And that's something I'm really grateful that I have. I have a lot of confidence in myself because of the work that I do. And I'll also say that, you know, confidence is a byproduct of action. So the more action you take, the more confidence you're going to build, right? So it's not just about, you know, releasing fears and limitations. It's also about taking that messy, uncomfortable action. And that's how you build confidence. Like I said, I've been running challenges and events from day one in my business, and I had no idea what I was doing um, on my very first five-day challenge 
that I ran. You know, I had this big flip chart of, you know, my script that I would show people on the live video and because I didn't know the words off by heart of what to say and I needed those like prompts and I didn't know I could have the script on my computer and things like that. So I'd hold this flip chart up for 30 minutes and I was just so naive, but it really built my confidence because I wasn't sitting there thinking about like, what are people going to think about me? Like, is it going to work? Because that wasn't my intentional energy. My energy was very much you know, there's a global pandemic going on. Everyone's freaking out in fear and scarcity and unhappy. Let me bring some light and positivity and share what I've learned on my journey to get into a peak state. You know, that's what the challenge was on at the time, you know, how to build confidence in yourself and love yourself and, you know, improve your physiology and things like that. And, and, I just wanted to help people and that's why it worked, you know, and I'll get onto that a little bit later, but having that confidence is so so key and so confidence doesn't mean perfection confidence doesn't mean it has to be the right time confidence doesn't mean any of that confidence just means like feeling the fear and doing it anyway you know feeling the fear and and giving it a go like not waiting right just doing and and being and so having that rock solid confidence comes from releasing what no longer serves us applying skills that makes us step into the person we want to be and just doing it with the fear being there and taking that action right so behind every five figure launch I've had is through having confidence first and foremost whenever I've really doubted myself or my offer or the people I was talking to um, it's resulted in a low return on financial investment there so that's first and foremost is work on your own inner confidence Number two, uh, that has supported me to create five figure launches is running challenges and events. So every single month where I've had, you know, a 10 K month and beyond from a launch, It has been through running a challenge or an event. So that's actually the strategy, the how-to that has supported me to create 10K months and beyond. You know, it's never just been through creating content or waiting for people to come to me or referrals alone. It's been through like running a virtual challenge or an event, which is basically, you know, um, an opportunity that you give your audience to come and experience learning and growing from you. And then you making an offer at the end of that challenge or event where they can then continue the journey and work with you. That's what a challenge and event is. And I run a virtual one of those every single month. So it might be a masterclass. It might be a two day paid intensive. It might be a free challenge such as I'm running next week. And I do this every month. And this is how I continue to sign more and more clients and not just any clients, but freaking amazing clients like unbelievable clients that I absolutely love working with and and that's because the nature of running these challenges and events brings in the right people right and and there's a formula to doing all of that so definitely behind every five figure launch has been running challenges and events strategically and intentionally are you ready to create aligned scalable results in your coaching or service-based business If so, I'd love to work with you. I support my clients through my signature programs, Rise to Coach, which is for new coaches or service providers wanting to sign their first clients, and Rise to Six to scale to consistent 10K months. DM me at Sophia Rose Bernardi on Instagram to learn more and see if one of my programs is the right fit for you. Number three is... Every time I've had a five-figure launch, it's been because I over-delivered with high energy and low attachment. Let me break this down. So when I reflect on all of my amazing months in business, whether that has been, you know, a 10K month, a 30K month, a 40 3k month an 83k month you know um that's the most i've done is about eighty five thousand dollars in a month in sales in australian dollars as well and when i reflect on all of those successful launches i've had always in those months i have over delivered meaning i've gone above and beyond i've given all of my energy and not from an exhausting place not from a desperate or needy place complete opposite from an abundant place because i've got all this overflow and and amazing things happening in my life and people coming into my life and because I've looked after myself first and foremost I've had all of these you know like I've had this overflow of gratitude and abundance within my life that I've I've 
been able to just over deliver and, and give, right? And also when you're really sold on yourself and your concept, you know, the process that it is that you you teach and deliver, it's a lot easier to then like communicate with clarity the point you're trying to get across in your content and messaging, right? And so I've been able to over deliver with confidence and clarity because I like have these steps in place of like, you know, how to create a rock solid offer and, you know, how to create content that converts and how to run successful challenges and events. And because I've got confidence and evidence behind that, I've been able to really over deliver with, with a lot of conviction, right? And so when I have that high energy, because I'm looking after myself first and foremost, and then I have non-attachment, like really low attachment to like, you know, whether people sign up because it's really just coming from a giving place rather than like a desperate and needy place. And this is why I don't recommend, um, you know, being in business when you need the money, like you should have another job then where you're making an income so that you don't need the money from your business. Otherwise you're coming from lack mentality when it comes to getting clients and that's not a good position to be in and people can feel it as well. Whereas when you're, you know, when you have low attachment because your cup is full and it's like this or more then people are magnetized towards you and so totally recommend uh being in a place where you can actually give because you're in an abundance place not a scarcity place and so that way you have that high energy because you look after yourself and you're sold on your concept and then you have a low attachment because you're not in this needy desperate place like I never see it end well when people need the money like money doesn't come to those that need it because that's a lack energy money comes to those that are a match for that amount of money so if you want to bring in ten thousand dollars per month you need to be showing up as the version of you that brings in ten thousand dollars a month like what does she or he do what does she or he look like what does she say like what does she invest in how does she handle problems you know like insert whatever it is like how does the 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 five figure version of you show up and behave and feel and think you know that's really, really important. And so we want to be coming from that high energy and low attachment because the more attachment you have to something, uh, the more suffering that's behind it because there's more fear of losing it, right? Whereas when we're non-attached, it's not this energy of like, I don't care. It's just that I have everything I need. And so I'm in gratitude and I just desire more, you know? So it's really appreciating what you have now and being in that desired state of of welcoming in more because you can hold it you know and and that also comes down to having positive thoughts about like being able to actually hold and receive more without it you know impacting you subconsciously like for example some people believe that like subconsciously like 95% of human behavior is subconscious right like until you make the the unconscious conscious, like it'll rule your life. Like I'm pretty sure that's Carl Jung's quote. And it's, it's so true. Like that's why we've got to continuously do this inner work. But essentially like if we, you know, have these beliefs subconsciously that, you know, if we become successful, people won't like us or we won't be relatable or, you know, we'll lose people in our life or, you know, people will think we're this and that. If I become successful, then your brain is literally going to do whatever it can to like stop you from becoming successful because God forbid you lose the people that you love, you know? And a lot of people are actually subconsciously afraid of success, right? And so doing this inner work is so, so important. I do it every single week in my business and that's not always easy and that's not always fun, but it's so important to do like shadow work, deep inner healing and releasing these subconscious conscious blocks because they totally rule your life right and so it's doing this work has allowed me to be in high energy and low attachment because um because of the work I do essentially um number four is having unwavering belief in my offer so whenever I've had a five-figure launch it's because I've been very sold on the offer that I'm actually selling. So let's say I'm selling spots into my mastermind rise to six. I've been able to have five figure launches. I've been able to have people join my mastermind 
because I myself believe in the power of my mastermind. I believe in the results that it produces. I believe in the experience that it provides for my clients and so forth. And so whenever I haven't been 100% sold on what it is I'm selling, which if I'm being completely honest, I can't think of many times where that's been the case. I've always made sure to like love, love, love my program before selling it if that makes sense um so I honestly am like truthfully I really can't think of many times where I haven't been 100% sold on what I'm selling but I've noticed that behind every five figure launch it's when I have been like I believe in this like if someone says no to joining my program I feel sorry for them I feel like they're losing something not me because I believe in the offer that much I'm like that's so their loss I respect it and I fully am unattached to it but I also don't believe it's my loss. I believe it's their loss because I know what results when you follow through my program has to offer you because it's supported me to create over half a million dollars and it's supported my clients to create a lot of money as well. So having that unwavering belief in my offer has been key behind any five figure launch. And then number five has been intentional or intentionality with my content, my messaging and my consistency. So let me explain this. Like, whenever I've had a five figure launch, I've realized that I wasn't just creating content because I had to, I was like very strategic and intentional with that content creation, because a lot of the content is created to then promote people to come to my challenge and event. So I've had to be strategic in, in terms of creating content that's on the same topic of my challenge or event. So For example, at the moment, I'm promoting running my upcoming three-day free challenge, how to run a money-making free challenge. And all of my content in the last couple of weeks whilst I've been promoting this has been all about running money-making challenges. So I've been talking about the benefits of challenges, the mistakes people make that revolve around like not having challenges. Like I've been just talking about challenges left, right and center. And if you notice, I'm also doing it right now. Like this podcast episode really comes back to how when I ever I've had a five figure launch, which I know my target audience wants. So you listening wants this, like Like I'm telling you that one of the things that I did was run a challenge and event, which just sells you on the concept of my free challenge that like it would be worth your time coming to if you also want to have a five figure launch. And yes, this is strategic, but it's also like complete transparency, complete honesty. Like it's my truth. It's my genuine experience. That's why I'm selling it. And that's why I'm talking about it. And that's why, you know, I believe it and all of that sort of stuff. And so that's what I mean by intentional with my content. I, I, it's never coming from this place of like, oh no, I need a post for today. Let me just make something up. Sure. Sometimes content can be created that effortlessly, but it's always around the messaging of what it is I'm launching. So this three-day challenge is on challenges and events. So the last thing I should do right now is literally talk about something other than that, because that just doesn't make sense when it comes to getting more people to come to my challenge. So whenever I've had a five-figure launch, I've been very intentional and strategic with my content, the messaging within my content and the consistency, meaning I've shown up quite consistently. And in some cases, depending on which stage of the launch I'm in, quite a lot as well, right? It's part of launch. But the cool thing about running challenges and events and and having this business model is you can repurpose a lot of content um, because you're doing it every single month. There's a lot that can be repurposed. And so it gets easier and easier every single time. How good is that? So in summary, the five key attributes behind every five figure launch that I have had has been having one rock solid confidence in myself Two, I've run a challenge or an event in these launches. Three, I over delivered with high energy and low attachment. Four, I've had unwavering belief in the offer that I was selling. And number five, I was intentional and strategic with my content messaging and consistency. So they are the five key attributes. I hope that this has supported you in one way or another to see maybe some room for improvement, some different strategies or concepts you could apply or areas that you need to focus more on in order to get yourself in that position where you can call 
pull in, hold, receive, and, and give, you know, those five figure launches because you so deserve that. You just got to become a match for it. And these are the five things that have supported me to do so. Now, like I said, if you would like to learn how to run a money-making challenge yourself, I'm going to be teaching you my exact formula at my upcoming three-day challenge. So make sure that you sign up. It's from the 28th to the 30th of March, 2023. You can sign up with the link in the show notes slash description slash link in my Instagram bio, depending on where you are right now. Um, alternatively just message me if you need to but honestly it's in those places um and it's gonna support you to blow up your business to consistent 10k months so freaking excited if you've ever been to a challenge or an event of mine you know that i over deliver um and i'm just really excited to be teaching people this so we can have more coaches out there rising together um and yeah i'm really excited so i will see you at my challenge otherwise i'll see you at next week's podcast episode i am so very very excited. All my love guys. Bye. Are you ready to create aligned, scalable results in your coaching or service-based business? If so, I'd love to work with you. I support my clients through my signature programs, Rise to Coach, which is for new coaches or service providers wanting to sign their first clients and Rise to Six to scale to consistent 10k months. DM me at Sophia Rose Bernardi on Instagram to learn more and see if one of my programs is the right